All right, y'all, it's Kate here. I'm coming with a quick video to share my excitement about a button that FreshBooks has just released that I've been asking for for over three years. Get excited with me, y'all. It's this button right here, the Add Bank Account button. For, for years, I've had to tell people that if their bank or their credit card didn't connect to FreshBooks, that they couldn't use uh, having some of your accounts, but not all of your accounts was worse than having like no connection at all. But now we have this button. So follow along with me. You click here, and what do we have? We have this Create an Account button. Until January 2025, this did not exist. So if you have a small credit union, and then occasionally some credit cards have not connected, um, and there was no place to manually upload your transactions. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. But now we can click this. We'll get taken to a more detailed screen. So on this, you would add your bank name, you know, like, Small Town Credit Union, um, probably here is going to be checking or saving. One limitation is this account type. So bank accounts are fine. Um, that just means cash, right? So it's your savings accounts, your checking accounts. But the part that is hardest for me is that I wish we would have been able to have this word instead of saying credit card if we could have had it say liability. And then from liability, we could select a sub account called credit card. Because what I really wish is we could add our, our loan accounts, our line of credit accounts, and be able to have a feed for that in the accounting tab so we can reconcile you know, our transfers from our line of credit to a checking account. And then when you pay off your line of credit, that sort of thing. Those are still going to have to be via journal entry unless you want to think of this word credit card as a substitute or a synonym for the word liability. But just know that it, if you do that, it's going to be nested under sort of this grandparent account or parent account called credit card. Um, but it'll at least be in the liability section of your balance sheet. You put in your opening balance and your start date just like you would on those connected accounts, right? So this, is, this part is very similar to when you it's a set your opening balance of an account that was connected. And then you'll scroll up and you'll hit save. Whenever you do that, you would get an extra line so in this instance, it would be at an extra line. So there would be four lines if we had added an account for this particular FreshBooks account. This is glorious. We will be able to hit that transfer button whenever we're paying off things or moving money between different cash accounts or if, you know, if you're paying off a credit card. Um, I love it. Thank you, FreshBooks. Thank you to the developers for building it. It's really the only time I've asked for something and had to have waited so long to get it. I know they're working hard on lots of things. Um, so I appreciate them building this, and now more people will be able to use FreshBooks because of this button. Jumping in here with one little note. If you had been doing some sort of hand entering of your transactions where you were like uploading your expenses and then doing journal entries for your deposits, and I don't know, like probably you would have gotten off of the software by then, but if you did, I have a video that's called, oh crap, my bank account's disconnected. And it talks about my hack for fixing that. And so if you've been, if you're gonna try to add a bank account for transactions that you've already been really manually doing, you're probably gonna need to watch that video and follow my hack. It's almost as if all that work before is going to be like a disconnected account. Um, and again, you were doing it all manually with just journal entries and the uploading the expenses here. but you will want to move that balance, if you've been doing it perfectly, to uh, this account, just like I explained in that oh crap video. I'll link that video below. Subscribe to the channel. I have plans to ship a lot of videos in 2025. FreshBooks is making lots of changes and updates. Make sure you're subscribed. If you're a new FreshBooks user, this button is gonna be potentially really important to you because connecting bank accounts is one of the first things we do. Reach out to me. If you're a new FreshBooks user, you'd be eligible for my office hours. Old FreshBooks users are eligible for my office hours too, but they have to make sure they come with moderately clean books. So we might have to do a cleanup before you can come to office hours. Um, that's a you know private membership group where you have access to me many times a month to ask all your bookkeeping questions. Um, and everyone is invited to the monthly free Q&A that I do on the third Thursday of every month. Go to heritagebusinessservices.com slash help dash with dash FreshBooks. You'll see the registration links for a few months ahead of time. You can grab a couple slots. That's a way to get uh, a free chance to ask a question of me. Y'all, reach out. I'd love to help you. 
I'm Kate Josephine Johnson, and I help businesses build their business legacy.